Do, know, Dr. Lowe, they, do, do we have the pictures? Here we are almost yeah, a week as far as, Have you yeah, seen them? So in fact, uh, the only information we get is from the Europeans. There is the European Space Agency that released some data which is inferior to the NASA data. And they are saying that indeed uh, the high-rise camera captured uh, an image of good uh, data uh, on October 2nd. However, the principal investigator of that the camera said that he, he cannot communicate the information to the public because of the government shutdown. Now, that of course raises some uh, concerns that maybe they know something and do not want to let us know about it. A silent giant from another star system is drifting through our solar system and it's behaving in ways that have even top scientists, including Harvard's Avi Loeb, seriously puzzled. It's uh, very exciting because uh, we've never thought about the potential uh, implications of finding an object that big uh, that could uh, be something other than uh, a rock, an icy rock. Just imagine that it was a technological object that selected this uh, orbit to be aligned with the planets around the sun for a reason. It was designed by some intelligence and uh, we are not uh, prepared for such a visit. Yet for some reason, the clearest images of it are being kept from the public. Official explanations don't add up and whispers suggest that someone, somewhere, doesn't want us to know what this thing really is. The object's name is 3I Atlas, and it's so immense that even the sun's gravity and radiation can't seem to knock it off its path. That alone would be strange enough, but the material trailing behind it isn't the usual mix of frozen gas and dust we see in ordinary comets. It appears to contain industrial-grade metal, even more astonishing, it seems to have entered our solar system from nearly the same part of the sky as the famous WOW signal. The mysterious burst of radio energy detected in 1977 that many still suspect came from an intelligent source. What we're observing may not just be a comet, it might be something far stranger, a silent behemoth crossing our skies with the purpose we can only guess at. Comets by their nature are simple and predictable. They're often described as dirty snowballs, frozen masses of ice and rock that vaporize as they near the sun. When their icy layers boil away, the jets of gas act like miniature rocket thrusters, pushing the comet slightly off course in a process known as outgassing. It's one of the most basic and well-understood principles in astronomy. Yet 3I Atlas seems immune to it. Observations from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope shows that it's losing a staggering 150 kilograms of mass every second, or about 330 pounds, as its gases and particles stream into space. That much force should cause a noticeable drift, but 3I Atlas doesn't budge. It continues along its path as if nothing is happening, as if it's too massive to care about the physics that move everything else. To resist such a force, an object must be unimaginably heavy. Loeb's calculations reveal that for 3I Atlas to maintain its trajectory, it must weigh more than 33 billion tons, at minimum. That makes it as heavy as a small city, roughly the width of Manhattan Island. It's an extraordinary estimate, one that instantly sets it apart from anything we've ever encountered. For comparison, the previous major interstellar comet, Borisov, was about twice the size of a football field. That means this new visitor is a thousand times more massive. If smaller interstellar objects like Borisov are common, then we should see thousands of them for every giant like Atlas. But we don't. Its sheer size makes it a statistical impossibility, a cosmic anomaly that shouldn't even exist. Soon we'll have a chance to study it more closely. The larger and more reflective it appears, the harder it becomes to explain as a natural object. 
there simply isn't enough loose material floating between the stars to form something that large so frequently. But its massive weight and perfect trajectory aren't the only things that defy logic. What's truly baffling is the composition of the material it's shedding. Reports suggest that the dust surrounding 3I Atlas contains large amounts of nickel, but virtually no iron. In the natural universe, nickel and iron are inseparable partners. They're created together in the hearts of dying stars, appear side by side in meteorites, and form together in planetary cores. To find nickel without iron is unheard of except here on Earth, where we deliberately separate them to create high-grade alloys used in technology, everything from jet engines to spacecraft. Loeb highlights this distinction. And uh, the only place in nature where we find nickel without iron is when we produce nickel alloys. And uh, so the question is whether this... Uh, uh, nickel without iron in the in the cloud of gas around it was uh, a result of a technological uh, production process that made this object. Nature blends nickel and iron, but technology separates them. Could this strange metallic cloud be debris from an engineered structure? Perhaps the remnants of a hull or exhaust from a propulsion system? It's an unsettling thought, but one that fits the evidence better than the usual comet theories. Then there's its tail, or more accurately, its forward tail. Every comet we've ever observed has a tail that streams away from the sun, blown backward by solar wind. But 3i Atlas breaks that rule. Images show a luminous plume stretching toward the sun instead of away from it, forming a long, thin glow ten times longer than it is wide. It's the kind of sight that defies explanation. Loeb describes it best. It's like seeing a cat with a tail growing out of its forehead. You can try to tell yourself it's still a normal cat, but your instincts scream that something is fundamentally wrong. Even the light coming from this object refuses to behave. Astronomers studying its reflections have noticed something called extreme negative polarization, meaning the light waves are organized in a way completely different from that of any known comet. Normally, light scatters chaotically when it bounces off dust or ice, which is why polarized sunglasses block the glare. But the light from 3i Atlas looks structured, almost engineered, as if reflecting off smooth or metallic surfaces. Loeb believes this strange light pattern may be linked to that forward-facing glow, sunlight interacting with a geometry that nature itself could not easily create. At this point, the evidence is stacking up. An object the size of a city, weighing tens of billions of tons, losing industrial-grade nickel without iron, defying solar forces, and displaying a tail that points the wrong way. Taken together, these clues paint a picture that is difficult to dismiss. And the story only grows stranger when you trace its path back to where it came from. In 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio detected a powerful, narrow-band radio signal that seemed to come from deep space. It lasted just over a minute, but was so strong and so perfectly tuned that the astronomer who discovered it, Jerry Iman, circled it on the printout and wrote one word beside it. Wow. The wow signal has puzzled scientists ever since. It was never heard again, and its origin remains a mystery. But when Avi Loeb compared the region of sky from which that signal arrived with the trajectory of 3i Atlas, he made a remarkable discovery. They line up almost perfectly. The two directions are within about 9 degrees of each other, meaning the chance that they're unrelated is less than 1%. Could 3i Atlas have been the very source of that mysterious radio transmission nearly half a century ago? If so, it would mean the object isn't just a passive rock drifting through space. It might be an active probe capable of sending signals across interstellar distances. Because of that possibility, Loeb has called on radio observatories around the world to listen closely as 3i Atlas passes through our neighborhood. So far, no new signals have been detected, but the search has just begun. Meanwhile, its timing adds yet another layer of intrigue. 
the object will make its closest approach to the sun on October 29th, the exact point where the sun's gravity is strongest. That would be the perfect time for any spacecraft to use a gravitational slingshot to change course. And during this period, Earth will be on the opposite side of the sun, meaning the object will be completely hidden from view. For weeks, we won't be able to see it at all. Was this coincidence or deliberate timing? Loeb offers a chilling thought experiment. What if, when it emerges from behind the sun, it's traveling in a completely new direction? What if it performs a maneuver while hidden from our telescopes? That, he said, would be undeniable proof of intelligent control. If that happens, the stock market will crash, because it would mean we're no longer looking at a natural object. We'd be watching a spacecraft, a technological visitor crossing our solar system. If this possibility is even remotely true, it would represent one of the greatest paradigm shifts in human history. Loeb argues that we are utterly unprepared for it. He's compared humanity's situation to that of ants living in a crack on the pavement. One day a biker rides by, the ants feel the rumble, see a vast shadow pass over them, and then it's gone. They have no context to understand what just happened, no language to describe it, no power to stop it. That's us, he says. Tiny observers at the edge of an immense universe, staring up at something we may never fully comprehend. That's why Loeb has taken the unprecedented step of writing to the United Nations, urging the creation of an international task force to study interstellar objects. The reason is simple. This won't be the last. A new observatory, the Vera Rubin Telescope, is expected to find one new interstellar object every few months once it becomes operational. We are entering a new era of discovery, one where visitors from other star systems might pass through our solar system regularly. Most will probably be harmless chunks of rock or ice, but if even one is artificial, everything changes. An asteroid follows the laws of gravity. A machine does not. A machine can slow down, speed up, or change direction, things no natural object can do. To prepare for that future, Loeb's own team, the Galileo Project, is expanding its search. They've built observatories in Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and Nevada to monitor the skies for unusual movements, especially in the months after 3I Atlas passes behind the sun. If it truly is a mothership, Loeb speculates, it could release smaller probes to explore our solar system. His team is now scanning for such objects, tiny visitors that might already be here, watching us from closer than we think. Whatever the outcome, 3i Atlas forces humanity to confront something larger than science. For all of history, we fought over borders, beliefs, and resources, forgetting that we share one fragile world adrift in the vast emptiness of space. If an object like this turns out to be a technological craft, it could unite humanity in a way nothing else ever has. The realization that we are not alone would make our divisions seem absurd. Right now, governments and markets remain indifferent, waiting for absolute proof before reacting. But the public has already taken notice. The fascination with 3i Atlas is spreading rapidly, igniting discussions about what it could mean if we truly encounter something made by another intelligence. Whether it's a strangely shaped comet or a fully functional spacecraft, it's forcing us to look up again, to wonder, to question, to imagine. And perhaps that's the greatest test of all. This object challenges our curiosity, testing how far we're willing to stretch our imagination. It challenges our cooperation, asking whether we can work together as one species to uncover the truth. And it challenges our courage to face a universe that might be far more complex and far more inhabited than we ever believed. So what is 3i Atlas? A weird, oversized comment behaving in ways we can't explain? or the first undeniable sign that we're not alone in the cosmos. Whatever the answer, its journey through our solar system is rewriting history in real time. The truth may be out there, gliding silently through the darkness, waiting for us to notice.